Take it to my lab immediately. Thank you, Vaughn. I've never been more proud of you than I am at this moment. Back in business. Come to the house tonight for dinner, okay? Yeah, I'll, I'll be there, Dad. We're too late. Vaughn's given the reactor to his father. What now? I can't destroy the reactor. Josie's getting worse. Don't you get that, Vaughn? How do we know her problem's connected to the reactor? Well, her problem started around the time you built it. And somehow since then, I've gotten smarter. I don't think the reactor's doing that, Lucas. No. I think when you and Josie were arguing before science class made her the way she is. <laughs> what did you do to her? I have no idea what you're talking about. I think I liked you better less smart. Thanks a lot, Corinne. Less smart? Hi, I'm Josie. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. I'm Vaughn. Right, Vaughn. Right. Well? Look, I just can't do it. Fine. Come on, guys. Well, it was nice meeting you. Uh... Fun. <laughs> nice name. <laughs> Corinne, take care of Josie. Where are you going? Where are we going? Josie's abilities are diminishing rapidly, Vaughn. Any further, she could suffer permanent damage. I can't just destroy the reactor. My father needs it. Look, something happened the other night. I can't tell you what, but I've never seen my father so broken. It was like his life was over. And then I built the reactor and he came out of it. Do you know what that's like? Doing something for your father that no one else can do. No. I can't even imagine. But it sounds wonderful. But then again, it's a feeling you didn't earn. Those plans didn't belong to you. Neither does what's being taken from Josie. And when you take something that's not yours, no matter what you do with it, you create something that doesn't deserve to last. It's hardly wonderful at all.